This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It's Manchester United versus Arsenal. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium, and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the greatest players of the current era, and you'd have to imagine, Stuart, he's going to have some sort of role to play in this one. Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him, his movement is excellent, and in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Here's the lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea stands between the posts. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Fred starts alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And the lead striker today is Alex Lacazette. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned club kings of Europe. Lost possession. Well read to ease the pressure. Scott McTominay. Bruno Fernandes has it. Bruno Fernandes. Good looking pass. And close but offside nonetheless <laughs> Granite Jacker Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. The cross is on. Good looking ball. And here's Partey. Well, they keep passing away. Granite Jacker. And showing fine vision. Corner kick given to Arsenal. Delivering it. It hasn't come to very much. Partey. It's with Gabriel. Thomas. Martin Odegaard. Lacazette. And nothing 
comes on the attack when all is said and done. Bruno Fernandes. And the counter attack is on. Options available. How about the cross? McTominay. On to Ronaldo. And just over the bar. Really good effort. Jaden Sancho and the emphasis is on creativity but ultimately up a cul-de-sac and space for the cross passing it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead and making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. What about the opportunity from earlier? Let's have another look now, shall we? Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball, but without really creating too many chances. Which, when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really disappointing. They need to play with far more urgency to win this game. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Tierney, but really sticking to the task defensively. Ronaldo threading it through. Well, they no longer have the ball. Lacazette is in the centre. And the cross not sufficiently well played in. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Sancho. It's with McTominay. Can he put them in front? Bruno Fernandes. And that will do it for the first half here at the Estadio Metropolitano. Into the second half, then, in this battle for Champions League glory. Arsenal's free kick here. Delivered into the box and clears his lines. Maguire. Bruno Fernandes has it. Jaden Sancho. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Diogo Dallo, a chance to whip it in. 
Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Who can they pick out? And he clears the danger. Sancho. Top class defending. Arsenal being afforded too much room. Had to come up with the ball and did. Decent position. Really vital interception. And into the last 30 minutes now. Rafael Varan. Fred with it. Sancho. This is Varan. Fred. Here's Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Losing possession here. Throw ins given. Here's a change for Manchester United. Sitting ever deeper. Well, no stopping him. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Fred. And closed down straight away. How about the short corner? Bruno Fernandes. Pulls it back. Ronaldo. This is looking threatening. Matic. And here's Fred. Alex Tevez. Sancho. A wonderful intervention. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium, but can United find that moment of magic to win the game? The crowd certainly think so. Just listen to them. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes has it. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? Good visualisation and execution. Attending to his defensive chores. Thomas. Saka. Partey. Now Lacazette. An effective challenge. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Very comfortable when in possession. A smart stop here. Nicola Pepe. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. 
Bruno Fernandes. Here is Fred. Cavani. Well, he's given us away. It's a fine United move in the making. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Cavani. And there it is! The deadlock has been broken. We wondered if a goal would arrive. Well, now it has. And will there be a response now? Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. has restarted 1-0 here oh lovely weighted ball they might be in Maguire and Rashford Bruno Fernandes Edinson Cavani now be troublesome can he take the chance and how about that for a save well that's it for the first period of extra time let's see what the second has in store And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about... And so 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. And holding the ball up in a decent position. Arsenal's free kick here. Well, the referee won't be quite as lenient next time. Got to tread more carefully. And fired from the flank into the area. Well, that header was never going to be problematic for the goalkeeper. Well, the stats tell you everything. They've lacked invention, they've lacked creativity, and they haven't got the ball into the penalty area often enough. And that's why they're behind in this game. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Lacazette. And that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. Fred. Well, the clock shows five minutes left in the second period of extra time, and still they lead by one goal. And unable to keep possession. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Defenders need to cover. Taking care of business defensively here. There will be one minute added on at the end. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Oh, 
And now the whistle they all wanted to hear. Manchester United have painted the Champions League red. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester United. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice.